everybody, it's Retray Productions with a, another tutorial. This one basically involves backing up and dumping saves to your retail Pokemon uh, Game Boy Advance cart. Now, what could this be used for? Well, you can use this to um, use cheats uh, if you want to use them on there. If you don't have a Game Shark or something of that nature, this is one way you can use codes the use of a free program called Virtual Boy Advance. But anyway, what you're going to need is a uh, retail cart of either Sapphire, Ruby, Fire Red, Leaf Green, or Emerald. You need a Visual Boy Advance, which is a freeware Game Boy Advance emulator for Windows. You're going to need GBA Backup Tool, which again is freeware, which is how we're going to back up the files on your DS. And in order to run this, you're going to need a DS flash cart. Uh, something like the M3 or the R4 should work. I have only tested this on the M3 Real in particular, running the Sakura firmware. Um, so I can't, you know, tell you 100% that it'll work on like the, the the Cyclo or the other ones. But I mean, it should. In theory, it's just homebrew, so it should work. But uh, this is all you need to start with. So the first step is loading up your DS and running GBA backup tool which you'll find all the links for this stuff in the uh, comments below the video so check there for downloads okay let's get started here's your standard DS with the Game Boy Advance game inserted so just go ahead and turn this on and depending on what flash cart you're using you're obviously going to have a different menu that will appear but I'm using an M3 reel with the M3 Sakura fa uh, firmware, so just simply going to load up the GBA backup tool, which is probably going to be loaded, or which is going to be on the root of your SE card, so if you need to navigate it, do so. And load it up, and make sure that your uh, game is inserted, ours is, so let's continue. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be backing up the save from the, the this cart fire red cart right now so I'm going to hit the R button go to the side and the first thing I'm going to do is new uh, GBA file create which just means it's going to dump the ROM uh, to your SD card this you have to do this in order for the save file to work I'm not exactly sure why but uh, you will need to do that and um, once that's done reboot into this and um, go to sheesh. Uh, okay. So then you're going to keep going to the side until you see new save file create right here uh, under B. So you're going to select B, like I'm going to do now, and the uh, hit run, and now it's backing up the save. And uh, so it's usually it's quicker if you've dumped the safe before. So this this is um, just the first backup. Then see how it created a file right here. So our save file is updated. So now at this point we need to plug it into the computer after we've uh, dumped our save and our ROM. Okay, now that you have seen how to dump the ROM and back up your save with the DS, we are going to load up um, our SD card to view the file. So we're going to go to start, computer, browse to our SD card, and we're going to go to the GBA backup folder. Now these are where your stuff is uh, backed up. For instance, Pokemon Fire BPR E00 is the GBA ROM I just dumped from my Fire Red cartridge. And this this is the save we dumped, which, actually to clarify, if this was in here and you wanted to dump another one, it makes an SV1, but you just delete the older save file and rename it to SAV and it works fine. So after you load this up, open up Visual Boy Advance, and we're going to go to File, Open, and navigate to your GBA Backup folder and load the ROM. Now, the ROM will automatically load your save file as well. So 
now it should be working. Okay, this is my save file that we just dumped. We can see that it correctly loaded up everything that I have. Turn that down a little loud. And you can see this is the exact file that I had on my Game Boy Advance card. Now, what can you do with this? Well, there's basically two main benefits, at least the way I see it. And those two main benefits are uh, speeding up the game with the use of the built-in speed up tool and uh, using cheats. Now, the first thing I'll show you is the speed up tool. You can see how I'm speeding up the entire game. Well, this is really nice when you have to go through tedious pokey battles, which, believe me, gets incredibly boring when you have to sit through all that. Um, so that that's incredibly useful. Uh, as well as the cheat function, which you can go up here to cheats, cheat list, and you can see that I have 100% catch enabled right now, uh, which I just find a way to get through the game a little quicker. Um, but yeah, you can use game shark codes, code breaker, and uh, all that sort. What I have gotten personally to work is code breaker, so that's what I would uh, work with. You can use a program called Cyro's Pokemon Maker, which is similar to Pokesov. Now, in the spirit of the game, if that's what you don't like to do, don't do it, of course. But if you like to play through the game with, you know, good IVs to start, like me, then, you know, you can have a fun way of passing time and playing this. But, um, that's basically the main benefits of doing this. So, now that we've loaded it up, you just simply pause and save it again. Do you want to save? Yes, of course I want to save. And now that that's all saved up, then you follow the same process. You just close all this out. Eject your SD card. And simply load up GBA Backup Tool again, and then press R and go to the right and select Dump, which I, I'll show you again how to do that. But it's an incredibly simple process. It's the only way I've gotten it to work. If for some reason clicking the GBA file does not load the save file, uh, hit Load Battery and select the save. But you have to use the ROM dump with it. I haven't been able to get the saves to be happy to go back and forth otherwise. But... I hope this helped. I know it took me forever to figure out, and I enjoy the features of being able to move from an actual cart and uh, my computer. Now that we've um, played the game on the emulator as, as we wanted, we want to dump the safe back on the cart. So we simply are going to go press R and go to the side and see how it says Restore data in card from save file. Press A, run, and then it restores the thing to the file.